Joe, an emotional few weeks for you and your family. Just talk us through the decision making process. Yeah, as everyone knows, I'm a homegrown lad, a proud Bristolian, and I'm also very proud of my uh, Irish heritage as, as well. So um, when this opportunity came, I, I broke it all down and thought, I've been here 10 years at a club now. It's been a great 10 years. I've loved every second of it. And I thought when that time we've had promotions, relegations, uh, we won the Challenge Cup, finished top of the Prem. I've won every individual award at the club. Um, Rebrands, change of stadium, training ground. I've been I've been full bin juice. I've been captain, so if over 150 games. So if we win the league next year, it probably would be a time for me. If I was to have a new challenge, it would be it'd be next year. And we want to think about a new challenge. And people play rugby for different reasons. And um, like I said, 10 years representing my family, Bristol. I just think. The right move for me personally would be a chance to represent the Joyce name and my heritage. I've got family, family in Galway, some extended family in Mayo. So this move for me, it does make sense. But obviously, it's a hard decision. It's been tough two weeks. I've had a few tough conversations with with Pat, with Steve, with John, with Chris. Um, they've been very supportive. They understood eventually what what my feelings are behind it. So I thought about it. It's not been easy, but I'm confident I've made a made a decent decision because also you never know how good you are until you actually put yourself in a different environment. I've been here for a long time, could easily stay here for longer and be comfortable and have a testimonial and things like that, which most people would do, but just feel like it's a good time to have another challenge. When I got on that on that pitch of Bristol, um, it's, it's more than a game. I think Connacht's the only team where I can go on a pitch and it still means more than a game of rugby, so I can't afford to lose that feeling because I'm a proud man and I want that feeling and representing something I'm a part of every time I go out on a pitch and I think that's one of my strengths so if I go anywhere else I think I lose that so I think Connacht's the only place for me obviously on both sides my mum's side from Tipperary and my dad's side from Galway so there's only two clubs really probably get half that feeling and that's Connacht and Munster so when I found out Connacht were interested that was the only way I could I could leave Bristol. Yeah when Pat came in it's fair to say and never had that excuse of being young anymore I think it might have been 22, 23 so that's when Second row is really should be in the team. So I mentioned before we bring in four locks. So <laughs> um, when Pat came in, I probably had more critics and I've had positive feedback. So the first three months, I don't think Pat liked me either. <laughs> but um, Pat's awesome at me. And I think his first year I got player of the season, every, every, every time I've been fit, uh, Pat's put me in the squad. So I've developed my, developed my game a lot under him. Um, I do owe a lot to him. And that's why I think that was one of the toughest conversations I've had in my life, not just in rugby, going around Pat's house and telling him to his face what, what I was going to do and what's, what's happening. And, but yeah, um, since Pat's been here, obviously, not just me as a team, obviously the first year we got promoted, we stayed up quite comfortably, we almost got into the Champions Cup in the first year. So um, that was crazy. And then obviously the Challenge Cup win, finishing top of the Prem. And yeah, personally, winning the awards I have with him, making me captain. and. Yeah, he's, uh, I spoke to him as well and he said he's proud of me and he's a Connacht fan as well. I think if there's one club he like to see me go to, it would be them So uh, as well. So uh, yeah, he wished me all the best and obviously we've got one, year, one year, more year left together. So it's still a long time, we've got a year left to give everything for Bristol. I'm going to cherish every second I have on that pitch this year and I'll do my best to um, leave on a high of a Premiership trophy. Um, I feel like I let Dan Genji a bit because uh, I was on his case for, for years to come back and uh, now we only get one year of him, but yeah, uh, he understands. And yeah, like I said, uh, looking back on what I've achieved, especially in the last five years, is, uh, is special. But the best thing about it is still one more year to go and I'm going to do everything to make the fans proud and just, just do my best to the, the last second in the shirt. I spoke to Steve on the phone, which was another tough conversation. We, I thanked him for not just what he's done for me, what he's done for the rugby club, what he's done for Bristol City. We just look at the, the place we're in now. It's incredible the way the Langstone family looked after us as, as a playing group during COVID as well. I think I owe it to the Langstone family and to Pat and the club to, uh, to really finish, to finish well. And yeah, there's not many, many words you could say to, to express what the Langstone family have done, even not just for the, the sports side, just our community as well. So. Um, that was another tough conversation, but I thought I owe it to those people to speak to him face to face before what he heard, heard from someone else. And I know it was tough, but I thought it was the right thing to do. I like to think I've 
handled it properly in the right way. But yeah, it's been a tough few weeks, but I think i um, done it the right way. And Chris Boy for me is probably, he has been amazing for me because when I came first came through the door, he was there as well. He's been through all those things I mentioned in my 10 years. <laughs> he lived and proved that as well and more. So I've, uh, over the last four or five years, especially with uh, Bill bomb with Chris. So when I saw him yesterday and told him face to face, that was the most emotional one. Um, we had a hug, we embraced each other. Um, he understood, but he was he was gutted. He said how much um, always we welcome back, and so that was one of their own. And so that that was the toughest one because um, there's nobody that's more Bristol through and through than Chris Boy. Obviously, last year wasn't the season everyone wanted, but I think it's going to be a blessing in disguise. I think I know we talk about the learnings all the time. And I know fans don't like hearing things like that; they want to see, see results, but. The experiences we've been through last year and what we find out about ourselves, because all we've done so far on our patch journey is go up, up and up. And life's not like that. You've got to go through dips and the things we've gone through, the changes we're going to make for next season, the players we're bringing in, it's only going to add up to success. And I'm part of the playing group, I'm part of that leadership group. So I personally won't be allowing standards to drop. I want to finish on a high myself now. So um, yeah, be excited and I um, just want to say I thank everyone for all the support. I've always felt loved by the Bristol fans, always. And I can't do any wrong if I have a bad game. Go online is how good Joe Joyce was. I had a terrible game. So um, the support has uh, always been there, but it's not the end yet. I've still, I've still personally got another year left. I'll be 11 years in at a club. You bring in amazing local talent back in, in Ellis and there's people coming through in an academy. So it's not about Joe Joyce, it's about Bristol Bears and we're in such safe hands with the group we've got. The Langstone support, the coaching staff, the facilities, everything's here. So, like I said, all the best teams in the world that have dips, and that was our dip last year. So, like I said, um, boys will be giving everything, everything's put in place. So, being excited. I've already seen season ticket sales going through a roof. So, I know they support us, and no matter what he reads, I know they don't really mean it. <laughs> so, uh, the sales are going up, season ticket sales are going up. So, um, yeah, we've always leave everything out there, and we will again next season.